Oh boy, another sitting and talking video. Yep. So I think uh, everyone knows what this one's going to be about, and I wasn't going to address this because it doesn't need to be addressed on my channel, but I figured, um, let's talk about it. Everyone knows what happened um, Saturday night. Uh, you know, if you don't, you're living under a rock. For the first time in 43 years, I believe, uh, attempted assassination on former President Trump. Of course, the last one in 81 was Reagan, but... Um, so, I, I have a couple theories and a couple thoughts on it, which I'll just share real quick. I should preface this by saying I'm going to try not to get political in this, because I'm pretty neutral as it is in general. Uh, I'm a generally pretty central person who typically votes Republican, but at the same time, I'm not what you would call an ultra conservative or even a cra I'm more of a libertarian, to be honest with you. I'm not really as much a Republican nowadays, but, um, I'll just preface it with, I don't like Biden. I've never liked Biden. I think that he's a danger to our country in the state that he's in now. I'm sure I just got all the dislikes. I can't fucking stand him. I think he's awful. And I think it's about time for him to get the fuck out and go to a nursing home where he should be anyway. Um, Trump, I was a fan of. I'm not a fan of Project 2025. That can take a hike, but him as himself and as a person, yes, I do. I do uh, like Trump in that regard. But um, there, there is one theory I've heard so far about this, and that is that this was an inside job. I don't think this was an inside job. Now, at the same time, though, here's the thing. He was in a field, right? Trump, he's in a field. Uh, clear day, bright out. He's in a field with three, four buildings around it. Okay, the shooter was on top of one of the buildings. There was a Secret Service sniper on top of another building, about 150-ish meters away. You're telling me that that Secret Service agent who had a sniper couldn't see the guy straight ahead of him, but everybody in the crowd, and I've seen videos, was saying, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. That's fishy. I'm just putting it out there that that's fishy. But... At the same time, who who would have been the shooter? Here's my theory, and I don't know anything about the shooter, but I have two theories. One is that he's an ultra-Democrat, which I don't think is the case because Democrats are about gun control. I don't think a Democrat would be in possession of a weapon, period, let alone attempt to assassinate Trump. So I don't think that that's what it was. I think it's also potentially possible that he is a, not old school, but he's a non-Trump Republican, uh, like I am for the most part. Uh, I'm not a Trump fan either. I know I said I liked him, but that's only in comparison to Biden. I really, I, he's cool and I like him and I wish I could say I was going to vote for him more enthusiastically, but I think our country's kind of fucked either way. But at the same time, I'm more libertarian anyway, but at the same time, I'm not fucking voting for Biden. I'm sorry, I'm just not. There's Democrats I could vote for. Like I said, I'm pretty central who I typically vote Republican, but I can't vote for Biden. He's fucking crazy. Um, I'm sure people say that about Trump. I'm sure I'm gonna get all the dislikes in the world. You know what, guess what? It's my opinion, I'm one person. Guess what, you're your own person. You can vote, go fill out your ballot on in November. But here is uh, where, where I think it gets interesting is that the way I saw it was, assume this guy is not an inside job, assume that he is just trying to assassinate the president, or maybe he works for, I don't fucking know, a loan shark, a hitman, something. This is just my theory. The way I see it is, if it was like an ISIS thing, which I know is a really bad comparison, but very, like Antifa, the, the leader of Antifa with all the gold chains, he sends out this guy and says, you've got one job, kill Trump. And then he misses by literally that much. He had every, he had the golden opportunity and he missed it. He very easily could have ended Trump right there. Very easily. And he missed. He missed. Watch the video. He shot Trump in the ear. So what you're telling me is that between here and here, or here and here, he... 
Someone got fired. I know he's dead now, but if I was the leader of that group, if I sent someone out to kill Trump and they failed, I would, I might kill them myself, honestly. Cause that, how do you fuck up that bad is what I'm trying to say. He had, and then the thing that gets me is it wasn't like it was one shot Trump's ear and if you watch the video, he probably shot 20 times and he hit and killed somebody, which part of me also thought, and I don't know if I still think it, that he was going for Trump to kill. He was going for the shot, the kill shot. He missed and he went, oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, I got to try to get some. I got to try. I got to try something like that. It wasn't like it was a machine gun either because it wasn't. Boo, 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 boo. It wasn't like that. It was pew, pew, pew. like it was like a handgun. Um, so that's, that's, it, it, there's a lot of confusion. That's what I'm saying is there's a lot of confusion. And regardless of what political party you are, it's, it is an issue. It's problematic. It's tragic. It should not happen. Whatever. And I bet you something else. If this had happened to Biden, I would be saying the same thing. As much as I hate Biden, I would be saying the same thing. That, that is ridiculous that that's even something that we have to think about. That said, I think that had it been Biden same circumstance, he didn't die, same shot in the ear. I think that the approach from most Biden supporters and Democrats would be a lot more um, like war starting than the reaction from Trump supporters. Obviously, there's Democrats on both sides, you know, everyone's saying, oh, it's not okay. But I think that this would have been the, the thing that got the blue haired glasses wearing fucking Prius driving ass coexist ass fucking bumper sticker ass people to start screaming. I think that's what it would have been. Um, so that I think that it would have been different. Now here's the other thing. And this is the scary thing to think about. Had he actually succeeded and killed Trump, there probably would have been a civil war <laughs> because I mean, granted, I think there's a lot of people that would be happy a lot of Biden supporters who are fucking nuts anyway, but I'm sure someone's going to say that about me, though, saying I like Trump. Fuck, I hate to say that sentence out loud that I'm voting for Trump. I hate that fucking sentence. I don't even know if I'm going to vote this year. I honestly don't. I might not. But had it been, had he made the shot and killed him, there would be a lot more discourse going on in this country than there already is, which is crazy because this country's kind of fucked if I haven't already said it which is why I don't like getting political because it's fucked anyway. <laughs> this country is so fucked right now. Fucking only two options are fucking Project 2025 ass dictator and fucking doesn't know where the fuck he is and fucking talking about, I, I don't know. But anyway, that that is the way that I see it. And had it been Biden, my biggest concern would have been if he, if he made the shot and killed him, the biggest concern I would have had would have been, at this point, Trump hadn't announced his running mate. I think he just announced it today. I think it's J.D. Vance, I want to say is his name. It's a guy from Ohio. But Biden's running mate is Kamala. Kamala is a fucktard. I'm sorry. There is no other way to put it. She's evil. And I'm going to leave it at that. And that's how I feel about her. So it would have been... Kamala, which makes me want to throw up even thinking about it, and Trump facing off, which would have been fucking hilarious. I mean, at least it's two coherent people having a conversation, but God damn it, you can't say much more than that about Kamala. But that would have been scary, seeing them face off. Because prior to all this shit and prior to the last couple months, there were a lot of Democrats, and I think there still are, that would never vote for Kamala because she's an extremist and she's crazy and she's evil. I don't know a single person, even in my personal life that I talk politics to, who's a Democrat, and I, I know a lot of Democrats. I don't know a single one that would say, yeah, fuck yeah, I would vote for Kamala. No. She wouldn't have gone anywhere if it wasn't for Biden. He picked her. Let's be honest. He picked her on her gender. He picked her on her race. I'm sorry to put that out there, but let's be honest. That's what it was. Okay, Trump's got white man, big orange man, bad, pick white man, vice president. Oh, Biden. Oh, well, I'm going to have a woman of color who's a woman because inclusion and diversity, which is fine. I'm all for that, by the way. I'm all for diversity. I'm all for inclusion. I'm all for, I'm, you know, I'm all for having everyone's equal rights, whatever. 
But don't pick someone's job based off of it. God damn it. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna cut this video, because I think that I'm gonna regret posting this anyway, and I'm gonna have to watch it back to edit it, and I think I'm gonna regret even editing it, but I, I just want your average, just average person, average American, younger American who lives and votes, and I just, just want to throw it out there, what my thoughts are, and it's a damn shame, shouldn't have happened, uh, of course, fucking Secret Service, had they done their fucking job, would have gotten this guy out way long ago, which is part of the reason why the people who think it's an inside job I don't think are totally crazy, because it, there's facts to prove it, and there's facts that disprove it, but I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for listening to my political rant of bullshit. I will never do this again, I promise. Uh, I'm probably not even gonna vote this year. Fuck, it's July already. It's coming up, but... Thank you all for watching. Um, I would be curious to know, and I, I know I probably have some Democrats that watch my channel. I would like to know your opinion. So I'd like you to put in the comments, put what you think. In fact, even Republicans. I want every person that watches this video to leave a comment. Every single one. I know that's not going to happen, but I just want a couple sentences from every single person saying, oh, you know, you said this. I actually agree with that. I disagree with that. I just want to hear it. No arguments, no fighting, no bullshit. You can say you support Biden. I don't give a fuck. You might be a little kooky, but no, I got to I gotta stop. But I would like to know your opinion, so go ahead and throw them down there. Um, and I will try to respond to every single one. Um, and keep, keep it civil, you know? Don't, don't be in my comments typing, fuck Trump, fuck Trump, I fuck, fuck Trump. Don't be doing that. That's, I'll delete your ass. Same thing for Biden. If you're going to do that for Biden, just don't go in my comments and be like, fuck Biden, fuck Biden. And I'll fucking delete that shit too. We don't fucking need that. We're fucked as it is. But anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, give me your opinions. And this is, I think I'm actually going to edit that out because I don't like what I just said. Uh, it's nothing bad. It's just that it, in 2024, what I said kind of fucking foreshadows some shit. So I'm not going to, I'm going to cut that out of the video. But yep, like, subscribe. I got to end this video in some way. So leave me your opinions and y'all have yourselves a good fucking night.